A320, Mentor Channel. Thanks for watching. Before we actually begin, let me show you a normal PFD. The PFD we use for the oral is actually expanded slightly and has almost all of the available symbols visible, which of course would never happen. At the top of the speed tape is a red and black barber pole. What do we call this? That is VMAX. What does VMAX represent? VMAX is based on VMO, MMO, VLE or VFE, whichever is lower. VMAX will move to reflect the lowest limitation, but it will not show VMO, MMO for alternate law. What occurs at VMAX? If we accelerate past VMAX, we will get a continuous repetitive chime. Also, an ECAM message will be displayed. If you accelerate past VMAX, on the left are double green tick marks. What is that called? That's high speed protection. If we reach that speed, what things occur? That speed is 6 knots above VMO or 0.01 above MMO. We will get an autopilot disconnect, the airplane will roll wings level if the side stick is released, or bank is limited to 45 degrees if roll is requested, and pitch up in an effort to slow below that speed. This pitch up can be overridden by full forward side stick. If you continue to try and accelerate, what will happen? The aircraft would accelerate to VMO plus 30 or MMO plus 0.07. When it reached that speed, the nose would definitely come up and would decelerate to VMO plus 16 or MMO plus 0.04. Once we slowed below VMAX, the protection logic would be reset. Just below VMAX are a set of magenta brackets. What are those called? That is Econ Descent Range. When will these Econ Descent Brackets appear? Several conditions must be met. First, you must be in the descent mode. Next, the aircraft must be in the descent phase of the MCDU. Finally, as indicated by the magenta color, you must be in managed speed. What is the range of speed between the Econ descent brackets? The range is plus or minus 20 knots from the speed we have programmed in the MCDU. If this is a limitation, such as 250 below 10 or close to VMAX, the speed will be within 5 knots above or below the limitation. On the speed tape we have a little green circle. What is that? That's called green dot. What does green dot represent? Technically, it is the best lift over drag. It also represents our best drift down speed. On the Boeing, this is known as clean maneuvering speed. What is required for the pilot to actually see the green dot? The aircraft must be in clean configuration. What does this amber tick mark represent? VFE next, the next maximum flap extension speed. This tick mark is displayed at 185 knots. What is our current flap configuration? At 185 knots, the next flap setting would have to be 3. That means the current flap setting would be 2. As you continue your approach, you move from flaps position 2 to position 3. To what speed will the amber tick marks move to? And what will happen to VMAX? The amber tick marks will move to 177 because the next flap setting is flaps full. That speed is 177. VMAX will then move down to 185 knots. What does that S represent? During the takeoff phase, that is the minimum slat retraction speed. As the aircraft accelerates through S speed, I can retract the flaps from position 1 to up. However, S is also used during the approach phase of flight. If the approach phase of flight has been activated and I am in auto flight, then the aircraft will slow and maintain S speed. S speed is an optimum speed to be flying and is not the minimum speed. The minimum speed, of course, is VLS. What does the F represent? F speed is called the minimum flap retraction speed. Because the flaps are in position 2 or 3 during takeoff, as I accelerate through F-speed, I can raise the flaps from either 2 or 3 
up to 1. However, if I am flying in the approach phase of flight and have the manage speed selected, the aircraft will fly that speed if auto flight auto throttles are engaged. F speed is basically the same thing as S speed, except F speed is really for flaps 2 or flaps 3. We have a magenta speed bug. What type of speed is that? That is manage speed. Magenta equals managed. It is manage speed for the approach. It is a manage speed for any phase of flight, but we regularly see it as managed approach speed. Just below the managed speed bug, there is a horizontal yellow line. What is that? That indicates on the tape the actual speed at that moment. What is the vertical yellow arrow off of the speed line? That is the speed trend arrow. It indicates the speed at which the aircraft will be in 10 seconds if acceleration remains constant. Is the speed trend arrow always displayed? No. It only displays when acceleration is greater than 2 knots per second and disappears when acceleration is less than 1 knot per second. What does that blue bug represent? That represents a selected speed. Remember, blue to you, the pilot. Just above the blue speed bug is a blue 1. What does that represent? That is V1. At the bottom right of the speed tape are a couple of symbols. The one nearest the speed tape is sometimes called the tiger's tail or the bumblebee. What does the top amber portion represent? That represents VLS, the lowest selectable speed. What if the pilot selects a speed on the FCU that is below VLS? Will the aircraft slow to that speed? No, assuming we are in auto flight. The aircraft will only slow to VLS, not below. On the performance approach page in the MCDU, you will find a VLS speed in green. What is the difference between that VLS and the VLS represented on your PFD? The VLS on the PFD is generated by the facts. It's a dynamic number that changes regularly. It takes into account not only the gross weight, but the angle of bank, load, and all other factors. The number in the MCDU is generated from the FMGC and based specifically on the aircraft gross weight. This is really used to develop our V approach speed. For whatever reason, the pilot allowed the aircraft to decelerate through VLS and the speed got to the second or amber bumblebee portion of the speed tape. What does that represent? The second portion is called alpha prot, which is alpha protection. If you get into alpha prot, what are you, the pilot, commanding? When I move the stick in alpha prot, I am commanding a load factor. There are four protections in effect. We use the acronym ASAP, angle of attacks commanded, the speed brakes retracted, the autopilot kicks off, and the pitch nose up trim is inhibited. We are limited to a 45 degree bank angle. While in alpha protection, you let go of the side stick. What will occur? The nose will drop for the aircraft to maintain the top of alpha prot speed. What pilot input is required to get out of alpha prot? I would have to push forward on the side stick. Instead of pushing forward, you hold full aft stick and the speed deteriorates to the top of the red tape. What does that represent? Well, that's alpha max. What are you commanding in alpha max? That is the maximum AOA or angle of attack that you can get with full aft stick deflection. Are there any other protections available? There are two more normal law protections or aids. One is a low energy warning and the other is alpha floor. What is the low energy warning? You are going to hear the low energy warning with the speed, speed, speed oral warning that tells the pilot that the only way to get a positive flight angle is to add thrust. This is only available during the approach phase. The warning is inhibited above 2,000 feet, below 100 feet, or any time flaps are not 2, 3, or full. There are other inhibitions, but as you can see, it is basically designed for the approach phase of flight. You mentioned that the other protection was alpha floor. Describe that for me. Alpha floor is really an auto throttle function. If auto thrust is operative, I don't necessarily have to have it engaged. 
it must be available. If I then get into a high alpha situation, thrust will go directly to toga without any action on my part. The aircraft sensed the impending stall and is telling you, I need thrust now. Besides toga thrust, what kind of indication will you get that you are in alpha floor? You would see an FMA on the PFD in the autothrottle column that says A floor. That is the first column of the FMAs. You said the autothrottles must only be available, not necessarily engaged. To have alpha floor available, is there a time when alpha floor might be inhibited? Yes, as I already said, if auto throttles are not available, then alpha floor is not available. Also, if you press the instinctive disconnect button for 15 seconds, or if you go into N1 mode, you don't have auto thrust. Therefore, you don't have alpha floor. Other times would be any time the aircraft is below 100 feet in landing configuration, or on the 319, if you are single engine and the flaps are out of the up position. If for some reason we degrade from normal law, the tiger's tail disappears. In its place, we still have VLS, but now have a red and black bumblebee. What is that? The top of the red and black is called VSW or V stall warning. A stall warning can occur anywhere in this range. What is the magenta 136 below the speed tape? Magenta equals managed. This is the managed speed, but is off scale. It's the same as the yellow speed indicator, except it is off scale low. We can also see a similar speed, which is off scale high at the top of the speed tape. What is the 0.78 indication below the 136 indication? That is a Mach indication. It is only present when the aircraft speed is Mach 0.5 or greater and the ILS button is not pushed. There is the identifier IIAD, which of course is Washington Dulles, and the 110.1. How can the pilot get that display? First, I must select the ILS push button on the FCU. Now it will display the localizer and glide slope scales, but also the identifier. It is important to remember that it is only going to bring up what has been decoded and not necessarily what you have entered. In other words, if you dialed in 1101 and the radio is decoding ISGC because it is not yet receiving IIAD, then you will see ISGC. This is the real cross-check that verifies you are receiving the correct decoded information for the desired runway. Until you have the correct decoded information, you have not tuned and identified. A320, Mentor Channel.